Today I am acting as evaluator for Carmela's speech. The role of evaluator is to assist her in accomplishing what, knowing what she did within the uh, confines of her speech. Titled, It's Never the End. You used great humor, Carmela. The ice melting is a great visual. Not only is it funny, but it's a great visual, too, because you can imagine we've all had to break that bag of ice. And we've all also had that bag of ice melting, and then it ends up the cooler leaving. And your wonderful use of your 22 years of life. Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. It was great play with the audience, which is a very important part of being a dynamic speaker, that you're able to engage and then back, back up and give back to the topic, which you opened up. You had a very interesting juxtapose of having the end be your beginning. Good foundation for your speech and where you're coming from. I challenge you to focus on a beginning, a middle, and an end. Sometimes that gets very difficult depending on your topic or your time frame if you only have two minutes. But it is a sign of a really polished speaker to be able to give you the beginning, the middle, and the end, and make it clear that that's what's happening so that your audience, the people listening, know where you're going with your story. That said, your close was very clever. I liked it a lot. I've run out of time. There's so much I could tell you, but I'm out of time. You may want to work on watching the timer. Speaking from experience, when you see red, Close as quickly as you can. Sometimes, if you haven't seen it go to red, don't even say thank you. So a lot of times we end with, and thank you. And because the best speech will be immediately disqualified if you're 31 seconds over red. And that would be a shame when you're delivering such a great message. And slow down. We want to keep up with you. Your energy and your excitement and enthusiasm will keep a room engaged. You have that natural gift. By slowing down, we'll be able to follow you and stay with you. And by practicing your speech, you'll get your timing down so you can stick with where you want to get those breaks in and keeping an eye on the timer. Overall, you did a great job on your first speech pulling it off. I want to thank you, and I really am encouraged by the next speech that's coming down. I'm not familiar yet myself with Pathways, but I know it'll be coming soon. So I look forward to it. And thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you.